Hello, my YouTube friends. Thanks for joining in tonight. Light years ahead of its time. Guys, light years ahead of its time. That's right, man. The RE20 Electra Voice. Wow. What a beauty, man. Encounters of the third kind. That's right. I had my encounter with the Electra Voice RE20. It's the real deal, man. And it is way ahead of its time. I want to say the company came out in 1930. Electra Voice did. And it was two men that actually started, uh, I want to say around 1927. But um, they actually designed a uh, PA system for a Notre Dame coach who had a, um, a speech impediment. And uh, he called, after they invented the system, the PA system, he called it the electric PA or the electric voice. That's what it was. Hence to... Um, then the company came out and was founded in 1930 and then called their company's name Electra Voice. And that's how it got its name. But um, it wasn't until 30, like 38 years later, after the company was established, that they came out with uh, the RE20. And so uh, talk, about, um, talk about something right out of the time capsule, man. This thing just looks so sci-fi right here, man. What a beauty. What a beauty this microphone is. Um, so, yeah, tonight I actually uh, wanted to get it up and get it uh, hooked up for you guys and check it out and see what you thought. See if uh, it had a nice sound. It seems to be uh, everywhere I get around the microphone, it seems to have the same proximity effect to it. Really, really nice mic, man. I did order me a shock mount today for this microphone which i'm excited to get it man can't wait to get it it's actually going to go on it and fit somewhere in this general area on the microphone and then uh it'll be nice because i don't want to have to push the mic so far back to be sitting underneath it right so um i actually got it it took me a while to find one that would fit this mic as far as the diameter goes and I didn't want to go back with the original um, shock mount just because it's so big and uh, gaudy for this little area that I'm sitting in. And uh, I kind of want it more, uh, something more aesthetically um, in proportion with the microphone to begin with. And uh, I'm really kind of surprised that uh, there isn't another option out there. But I did find one after market. And uh, I'm really excited about getting it in, man. So uh, how are you guys doing today? If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do now and slam that bell. Also type down there as to why you love Sure microphones and that'll get you in the drawing to the Sure SM7B that we're going to be doing soon and you don't want to miss out on that. Um, also, I wanted to mention too, before I go any further, um, we actually have some Audio Master t-shirts that are coming out. It's going to say Audio Master right here, and uh, it's going to be in white letters on a black t-shirt, and it's going to have some type of tube gear on the back for all you tube gear lovers like me. I love any kind of equipment, audio equipment that has uh, tubes inside of it. Uh, it just seems to have a nice, real fat, warm sound, and it's kind of fun watching those tubes glow up. And glow you can actually see some tubes to the right and left of me over here that are kind of glowing but uh electro voice man electro voice wow since 1930 you know here we are in 2021 and they're still doing some great stuff everything from loudspeakers to worship um uh speakers and things like that and uh, they keep producing and producing and producing and it's kind of neat to know that this is the still the go-to number one microphone in all your broadcast and radio stations um, pretty much around the world. This is the go-to microphone. And um, I just can't believe how great it sounds. It sounds really, really good. And uh, although I've had one before, uh, I did the unboxing on this baby the other night. 
And uh, I just forgot how beautiful this microphone is, man. So uh, it's, it's nice to uh, have one back in the studio and to be um, actually speaking through one of them. And uh, also, I put down a link down there, you guys, because I did my research beforehand. And uh, for the fastest shipping and the best price on this microphone, click my link down there below. It's right down below. I put a link down there. Click my link. It'll bring you to the uh, bring you there, and you'll be able to get the fastest shipping, best price to your door. You need to put one of these babies in your uh, studio and uh, start uh, doing some recording through it. I can't wait to start doing some vocals through this, as well as my uh, R44 ribbon microphone right here. And so I've been working on a lot of different things here in the studio. One is the aesthetics of the lighting in the room. And uh, I've just, I think I've pretty much gotten pretty close to where I want to be. Doesn't seem like there's any flashes going on or anything like that to where um, anything's hidden. But um, it took me a while to get the lighting just right. And uh, so uh, it's kind of nice to know that I, I don't have to work on that anymore and can uh, concentrate on other things. But tell me what you guys, um, tell me what you guys think about... Um, the re20 if you have an re20 leave your comments down there below be nice to know what uh, applications that you use the re20 in i've used them before on the um, kick drum also i've used the re20 on toms before as well as vocals and uh, acoustic guitar believe it or not micing an acoustic guitar i want to say we ended up micing around the 12th fret at the time and got a beautiful sound out of this. But uh, let me know what you guys are, uh, what applications you use the RE20 in. Be nice to know if um, what other kind of instruments you use them on, whether it be horns or sax or whatever, I'm not sure. But I'm sure, you know, I know it's a workhorse microphone, and so I'm sure that um, you can use it on a lot of different applications. But it's just finding the right instrument for it you know, but this is a go-to broadcast microphone, definitely, in all your radio stations. It's used worldwide. That's why I really wanted to get another one in my studio, just simply because um, it has that, it has that sound, man. It's just, it has that radio sound. It's kind of hard to beat, you know, but um, also, uh, give me a thumbs down, thumbs up down there, right down snare, like a snare, you know, like a snare drum, it's right down there. Give me a thumbs up, guys, man, and share the video, man. Help, help me get this out there um, to those people who um, love microphones and love anything to do with recording, mixing, mastering. We, uh, I choose, uh, I try to get on here at seven o'clock Texas time, and uh, go over a few little tips on what um, what could possibly help you out in your studio. And uh, save you some time and also save you uh, some regrets in buying um, the wrong thing sometimes. I know that um, I've had many regrets in the past of um, buying the wrong equipment. And so it's nice to know um, people that go before you and make those mistakes and you can kind of lean toward them and see what, um, see what they think as far as, you know, what to choose and what not to choose, right? There's so many different things out there to buy and so many different advertisements out there. You just don't know really what to buy, especially if you're a beginner and you're just getting into audio and recording. A lot of times you can make a lot of mistakes and buy things on a whim or buy things through an ad and uh, steer you in the wrong direction, man. So um, it's good to know beforehand um, what you're getting into and what's what's good and what's not, you know. So uh, this is a great choice right here. This is a great dynamic microphone, you guys. If you want a um, dynamic microphone that's a workhorse and going to be a number one microphone in your studio and you can use it many, 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 many years and actually pass it down to whoever, your children or whatever, this microphone is going to last you a long, long time. It's actually built of steel, man. It's nice, uh, nice heavy-duty steel that's built of. And it's got, uh, I want to say the windscreen's built inside this one. So it actually comes down to right about here on the microphone. 
and uh, keeps all those P's and B's and explosives from entering the microphone, which is kind of really cool, you know? You don't have to worry about those P -p and B's and all that stuff. And I actually seen one other guy who actually put a, a pop screen on this microphone. And I was thinking, man, why, why cover up such a beautiful microphone? It actually has the windscreen on the inside of it. <clears throat> and if you're having problems with P's and B's, you can always talk across the diaphragm like this. And uh, p -p all your P's and B's and air bursts are going to be going off to the side of the microphone. And uh, and that'll kind of solve that problem. But I did want to get an aftermarket shock mount for this baby. If you notice that how far it sits back, way back here. Uh, so I got me an aftermarket shock mount today, which mm, I would say is probably more aesthetically, um, you know, in line with the Electro Voice RE20. And it's actually going to sit about right in here, man. You guys are going to like it, man. It's going to look good. And it's going to be nice getting that baby in. So uh, it was nice finding it today. And I had to look and look and look because a lot of the shock mounts were either too big and uh, a lot of them were too small. And it was finding one just right that would fit this microphone, which was kind of um, kind of pretty tough, man. It was, it was somewhat of a challenge after calling, let's see, Full Compass. I called Full Compass. I called Musician Friend, uh, Sweetwater music three and then there was one more i looked at but anyway i finally found it and i found it on amazon.com who would have thought right but uh after doing all that research you know and get those little pop-ups you know we thought you might like this it pops up on my on my uh internet and uh says it, it'll fit the re20 i mean there you go how lucky can you get <laughs> after all day looking for a shock mount that would fit it uh i found one and uh it's gonna be nice getting it in but the re20 man re20 what a beautiful microphone man and um i can't believe i finally got one back in my hands again it's been nice you know i've been without one for probably i'd say 15 years now and uh so whenever i got it i was like man Oh my gosh, I got this beauty. Mr. Landscape, Encounters of the Third Kind. That's right, aliens, man. I know, uh, that's what this microphone reminds me of. It reminds me of a uh, third kind is like when you, when you have in contact with aliens, right? There's the first kind, there's a second kind. I think the first kind, if you see, you know, a UFO or whatever from some distance, and then the second kind is... I'm not really sure. Then there's a third kind and that's where you come in contact. And then there's a fourth and a fifth, but, um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. A little Saturn. Uh, no, there you go. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I had that dream and then, uh, and then me holding one and then I woke up and said, well, I guess I better just buy one. That must be some kind of sign. And then, um, uh, and now I got one, man. But they just, you know, they, it's hard to believe that um, this came out in 1968. And look at it, man. It looks like something that would come out in 2031. I mean, it looks like way ahead of its time, right? Maybe it was just dropped out of an alien ship or something, huh? And the Electric Voice uh, 642, the one behind me, the one that I was showing last night with the ribs on it. Talk about sci-fi, man. We're talking sci-fi movies, man. Electro voice. What a beautiful microphone. And to last the test of time, you know? And um, it's hard to believe that, you know, they came out in 1930, man. And here we are. Here we are, 2021. They're still kicking. But, uh, yeah, beautiful microphone. Every studio needs Electro voice in it, especially this workhorse right here. Um, it'll definitely do a lot of work for you, man, as far as your vocals go and miking other instruments too. Mr. Landscape. Yeah. You like that satellite, huh? I do. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate you putting that on there. That's really cool, man. So whenever I was coming up with a title, I was thinking of some of the movies, some of the best alien movies that, uh, came out and, uh, 
and and you know that was one of them was close encounters of the third kind i remember seeing that one that's an old one you know and that was a really cool movie yeah music history <laughs> yeah this microphone it'll record all those instruments mr landscape sax you know vocals but um yeah man i seen i seen that um that title and i was like golly you know with that dream that i had the other night and then me having to have one and then how futuristic these microphones look man it's like golly dude talk about uh way ahead of their time electro voice was way ahead of their time whenever they uh came out with um the 642 in fact the 642 the one above my head is uh the only microphone that i know of that got a grammy award okay and uh electro voice has done a lot of great things it seems like that electro voice also teamed up with tapco in the 70s tapco is a well-renowned uh, mixing board that was used on countless um live stuff in the 70s one of the better boards that uh so they teamed up with tapco and greg mackey uh who came out with Mackey boards later on, um, who would have thought, man, who would have thought that he was involved with Electro Voice, which is owned by Bosch now, a guy, I want to say it's Robert Bosch or something like that, but um, they own the company now, man. So it's kind of neat to know that they've evolved so much and through the years that they're still around and um, making some great stuff, you know, for all you guys to enjoy. What's that, Poker Man? Hey, dude, sweet lights going on in the back. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, man. It took me a while to um, actually get the, uh, took me a while to actually get that to look like that, man. I had to work with it for some time just so that I could keep everything in focus, you know? And I was trying to get, uh, Poker Man, I was trying to get a three dimensional look, you know, something in the front and the middle, which would be me, and then a background you know so it's kind of hard to achieve but i finally got it and uh through a lot of trial and error and, and looking through the camera and whatnot and um but yeah man what do you think about uh the new ev uh re20 i have here poker man you like it man i um it took me some time to um I finally got it in. It took me some time to finally get it in, but I'm glad I got it in because now I'm going to be able to do some really cool stuff with it. And uh, it works really good for um, certain vocalists, uh, especially people who have a nice thin voice. Um, it's a beautiful mic, man. Uh, it does um, it does add a little beef and a little meat to your voice, but uh, not so much as the SM, um, I mean, 7B. Uh, by sure it seems the proximity effect seems to be a little more bigger on the um sure sm7b than um the re20 the re20 i can get off axis i can get here i can get over here i can get over here and uh the voice seems to um keep the same you know presence and everything to whereas if you move around uh, on the sm7b it tends to, uh, the proximity effect tends to work more. But um, beautiful mic, man. Click that link down there below and get you one, man. If y'all been missing one of these in your studio, um, like I say, man, click that link down there below. It'll get you there. It'll get you the cheapest and the fastest to your door. You won't have to shop for it, man. Just hit that link down there below and get you one in the studio. I love this microphone right here. I did want to say that uh, after ordering my shock mount today, my aftermarket shock mount, it's going to come in black, okay? I'm going to look at it on the microphone in black and the aesthetics of it for a while. But I did go out today and find some paint, some spray paint um, that I think is going to match this paint perfectly. And I'm going to do a few test runs. And if so, I'm going to paint my shock mount color of this microphone and leave the bands black so it's going to look like it's part of the mic and it's not going to be some big huge gaudy thing hanging over the microphone that looks like a dinosaur man so i'm going to do uh i might do a video on that on me doing that so you guys stick around man 
and uh, hit that subscribe button, slam that bell, man, so you're notified. I'll probably end up sanding it down with maybe some light sandpaper to where the paint will stick to it real nice, doing a real nice night, uh, light coat, and maybe end up putting about three coats. But it was hard finding this color, man. I want to say I bought like three different colors of paint, and uh, man... But I got one that's really, 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 really close. And it's not an olive green either, man. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out before I start bragging on it, right? But uh, worst case scenario, I'm going to go to the paint store and have them um, shoot a picture of this mic and then do a sample and do a mix and put it in a spray can for me so that I can have the exacto same color as this right here on my shock mount. It's all about aesthetics, man. It's all about the look, too. If you see a microphone that looks as cool as this, you want to walk up to it and you want to sing, you want to talk into it, right? Same as the R44. When you see that microphone in real life, it's like, man, I got to sing through that mic, you know? It just it looks beautiful. I got to sing. I got to talk through it, do something. But um, so how was your day today, poker man? Did you have a good day today or what? You did? I had a great day today, man. I actually went to the gym, worked out, got in a great workout today, and uh, I feel good, man. It just feels good. But, uh, yeah, man, it's one of those days I just feel good. Had to get on here and talk about the RE20. If you don't have an RE20 in your studio, you got to get one today, man. It is the bomb of every microphone, dynamic microphone anyway. It is a great microphone to have in your studio just simply because it is a workhorse. It'll do it all, man. And um, it's nice to have one in my possession. Like I say, it's been many years since I, I let go of my other one. And uh, I missed it. I missed it. I loved it on vocals, man. Especially like for um, when I was writing writing vocals or whatever and writing lyrics uh it was nice having this one hooked up to some of my nice preamps and compressors in the living room i'd write a verse or whatever sing it out rehearse it and then kind of depict it and go through it and then um define it and, and define my artwork and i always remember using this one right here on it man it's a great mic to use you're going to love this microphone, man. If you get one, the RE20. Encounters of the third kind. From another world, man. You got to get it, man. Put it in your arsenal today. But if you haven't hit that subscribe uh, button, please do now. If you haven't slammed that bell, please do now. We have a lot of great things going on. And... One, another one coming up is the Audio Master T-shirts. I had mentioned it earlier, but I forgot to mention to you the first 30 subscribers that we get on here. Uh, I'm going to be doing 10 shirts that's going to be different than all the rest of the Audio Master T-shirts. Okay. And uh, they're going to be like the cream of the crop. And I'll be giving these out, free shipping, free T-shirts. But the first 30 that subscribe to the channel from here on out i'll get you in the drawing okay so your chances are high man you're gonna get a t-shirt so hit that subscribe button slam that bell and get entered into the contest you don't want to miss out everybody wants an audio master t-shirt man they're gonna be really cool especially the ones for summer coming up they're gonna be nice man white tees with gray lettering on there it's going to look good, man. And you're going to be able to wear them out in the sun and you're not going to burn up. So we appreciate you. We appreciate all of you. Mr. Landscape, we appreciate you. Poker Man, we appreciate you. Love the little alien uh, symbols there. That's really cool. I appreciate you putting that on there. That rocks, you know. Uh, are you a believer? <laughs> That's the big question. Do you believe? Do you believe? In UFOs. <laughs> Have you ever seen one? Anyway, my encounter was the RE20. A 
something that spoke to me in a dream, and now I'm speaking to it. The encounter of the third kind. Right on, man. Got to have one of these babies in your studio. 7 o'clock tomorrow night, Texas time. You don't want to miss out. The coolest channel. Audio Master, right here, man. The coolest channel. Great tips on microphones. Recording the whole nine yards. We do it. We give it out. And uh, you don't want to miss out. So slam that bell. Hit that bell. And we will see you again.